So my chances of finding another one are pretty low. Right, we can do more later. Yeah, I don't know, man. You can't buy shops and end all. So it's not even worth it, dude, unless you just want to see five stars on it. I mean, I'll show you the one that I farmed. It was this one right here. I don't know if that's the one you're farming, but... Took me like 30. If you want to five star it, just buy 99... Gold cylinders and then sell 99, then buy 99, then sell 99. You'll lose like 500k or something, maybe. Maybe. But you get five stars pretty quick. That's why I did in Tantal. I never turned in a single thing in Tantal. I just fucking sold and bought and sold and bought. It's pretty, pretty quick. Okay. Okay, Marden. Yeah, this game definitely keeps on giving. If you just like side content too, you'll spend an entire day. Like, I'll spend a 16 hour stream in like one zone. And I'll be like, okay, surely we're getting towards the end. And then there's just like three more zones. Like, Holy shit. And you're not like bored of it. The only thing that I'm like antsy about is I got a million games I want to play always, and if I spend like 150 fucking hours in one game, you know, there's got to be a point where I'm like, let's get going. But it's not really a fault of the game. I mean, I'm enjoying it. Um, so we're looking for a black no pawn here. Now the mascot characters aren't as annoying in this either. It was unbearable and axe. And the no pawns were pretty annoying in Chronicles, but not too bad here. So we're looking for a black no pawn. It's supposed to be hiding in the Avil shopping district. Oh, I have to have that one check out. This is the problem. Usually they tell you where everything is. But for these character specific ones, which is where the meaty side quests are, dialogue and interesting shit, you actually have to have them out. Maybe that's my thing. Maybe I had rares from other zones. I did a lot. I did all my farming in the other zones before I did, went there. Oh yeah, no. Investigations one's definitely worth it, man. I mean, two's the stronger game, but five's five's good. The the gameplay will be fresh enough to you that I think Investigations one will be good. And then 2 is a better game, but with the same gameplay. So, I mean, it, it'll just be strong on its writing, you know? Or 1 might be strong because of its freshness. I'm talking in circles there. Investigation's biggest problem is really in its last 5 hours. You'll, pro you'll probably enjoy it all the way through and then be like, have a, like a stale taste, maybe. It's still really good. I like Investigations 1 and 2 more than I liked fucking, like, Ace Attorney, like, f 5, I mean. This one might be too long. Uh, the last case is too long. I don't want to spoil much for you, bud, but it's the most drawn out case. If you thought 1 5 was, like, drawn out. Get ready for the last case of investigations. But it's good. It's Edgeworth. It's great. It's got the best sidekick in the series. Cool, dude. Enjoy. Keep us posted on that. A lot of people, especially Ripper and shit, meet the Ripper. Big fans of the Ace Attorney here. I'd be curious what you think. I'm gonna play Phoenix Wright versus uh, Professor Layton soon. We played through six not too long ago. That was that was a good time. A one I thought was fine, but I really disliked two. 
Two is why most people agree is rough around the edges. I still enjoyed it, but there were some boring parts. Three is one of my favorites. Four's got some some really great moments. Cool new characters. Bitchin' soundtrack. The height of Ace Attorney's music, I'd say, is in Apollo Justice. I think it stumbles. While it ups the production value in the later entries by going 3D, uh, I think it loses a lot of its charm, especially in the music department. It replaces a lot of, like, interesting music with, like, orchestral and all that, and I, I don't think it does the series much. No idea what to expect anymore. Uh, a lot of people consider the Investigations games some of the best games in the series. You can't really go wrong with them. I don't want to set your expectations too high, but I don't think you'll hate them. Maybe you will. There's a lot more shaky Ace Attorney games in my mind than the Investigations games. 4 is not a 3DS game, it is a straight DS game. It's the last 2D Ace Attorney, and it's great. It's Ace Attorney for Apollo Justice. So we play as Apollo Justice as the main character for the entirety of the game. I mean, that's the concept, right? That's what's on paper. It's about Apollo Justice. Got a weaker uh, prosecutor, but it's fun. It's good. I think Investigations takes place between 3 and 4, technically, but you could play 4 now if you wanted to. 4 is going to be more of your traditional style, like 1, 2, 3. Investigations is more on the fly, almost point and click. But not point and click kind of solving shit. Then five is like baby, baby casualized. <laughs> like they thought it was too hard, so they toned it down. Shit. And then six is back to being difficult. I'm long as fuck. You can play for on the 3DS, but uh, Apollo Justice is on everything now, phones, DS, 3DS. Shit, they just ported Investigations to mobile, Investigations 2, but since it never got an English release, it's never going to come out in the West. Which sucks, because it's so good. Try to finish all of them as soon as possible, they've been at the back of my mind for a long time. Yeah, don't burn out. I mean, it's easy to burn out on Ace Attorney, but... Keep me posted if you're gonna just blast them all. You get a lot of people you can talk with on the channel about that. It's good stuff. Do enjoy, man. I wish I could play some of those for the first time again. It's good ones to get out of the way, I mean, they're talked about and I guess they're known quantities, you know, enough that you're on the risk of getting pretty spoiled. It can be a part of cool conversations. Sometimes I play shit, because I know a lot of people have played it and then I can talk about it. So. It's like a combo. Like, I know a lot of people play it so I can talk about it, but I know it's also good, so... I uh, double whammy. <laughs> this feel like every- yeah, it's like... It's one of those entry-level, like, VN experiences, like, I feel like it's... So many people have played them, I guess. It's a good one just to have, have played. I 
I haven't played every single one of them, but... They're definitely popular. Compared to your average one. For good reason, they're good. They bring something to the table that's pretty unique. They're spin-off type of games. Not spin-offs, so. though. Games that copy the style, like uh, Aviary Attorney that I want to play. And while I'm talking, I should go do like the mini game shit. I said I was gonna do the mini game in between all this shit. I have played Ghost Trick. People talk that one up quite a bit. There is no and I like it. I do like it. But I don't feel as strongly about it as a lot of people. I don't know if maybe I just was spacing out in the last four hours or something or what. But I just I was like. All right, <laughs> there it was. Really unique, really fun. I like the Rube Goldberg style thing going on. I'd love to play another one. But uh, story-wise, I wasn't as like thrilled as most people, but I, I still thought it was a great game, and I'd recommend it, of course. I feel like it's one of those that I missed something. I feel like I should replay it. I would never talk down on it. It's hard for me to talk it up as much as most people do. I, I recommend it all the time, but I'm not as ecstatic. I don't know why. It was great, though. I, I'd like to see more of that kind of thing. Had some nice animations for a DS game. Why, you infidel! Just wait a minute, Shiva. Divine punishment! Ah, <laughs> uh, in our fit of anger, we... Of course, they're all women, right? No! Our gold! Our precious one million gold! The great unwashed are... Hey, dude, playing the shit that nobody's heard about is, like, is great. I mean, that's what I was saying, man, is, like, I've been doing everything. I, you know, sometimes I try to double up by doing popular shit that's also good, but, like, sometimes I just want to go do my own thing. Like, something just looks really cool to me and nobody's heard of it. I'm just like, fuck it, dude, I'll just play it. Like, I can understand that. Lining their pockets with it. You've really Not alone there. Now. I tried to stop you. This is yours, isn't it? You... You would return this to us? Yeah. Layton, Layton's definitely worth playing, man. It's hard to play those back-to-back. -back, so if you're gonna do them, I'd definitely get on one soon while you're feeling it, because that's when you have to spread out over a long time. It's more or less the same shit every time. Stories are fun. The movie's great. But... This is not a back-to-back -back series. I have to be feeling them. I love them. But I can never crank Everyone one back-to-back. -back. It's usually oh, a few months. I got sweet child. one more to play. Oh, Two more to play. Angel. The shitty one and the actual the good sixth one. All of you, you do this for Who the fuck sake. would give this money back to this dumb bitch? Our sincerest thanks. It is we who were the fools. To have doubted you even for a moment. We are undeserving of such honesty. Wait. You deserve a reward. We shall invite you all to a magnificent tea party. Really? Sounds amazing. Huh? You can invite all these kids. That is correct. The money is no longer of any consequence. 
for we have found something more precious than all the world's jewels. These pure, perfectly innocent children have opened our eyes. We were wrong to focus solely on gathering an entourage and holding magnificent parties. She says entourage, she means like harem. I think it's a translation change. I think she's like a lesbo obsessed with like gathering together women in her harem. It's supposed to be a little more upfront in the Japanese, but this is not the Japanese version. Yeah, I mean, the puzzles are always the focus. In the most recent one, I played five. The story does get a lot more, but there's always the same amount of puzzles every time. There's usually always like 120 to like 160 some puzzles, then the bonus ones. Like the challenge ones and shit, and the monthly ones and stuff, so. And the puzzle quality is always solid. But uh, the stories, I mean, you get more or less the same stuff. Sometimes they get more wacky and retarded, and that's kind of the fun of it. They're, like, so just zany and, like, fucking weird and sometimes bad that, like, it has to be on purpose. Like, And it's fun for that. Like, the movie's just, like, just so fucking ridiculous, man. Like, <laughs> it's just great. Like, I was laughing for the whole last, like, 30 minutes, just laughing, like, hardcore for the Ace of 25. Like, it was nice Ace 25. Late in five. It's just Yeah. You hate the story what parts. What really should have been seeking was the unblemished hearts of these That might not change too children. much in your opinion, but inviting these children to our tea party is more than enough to It never gets happy. worse. But she looks like she has a fucking ball sack. <laughs> I mean that's that's more my speed, but Jesus Christ dude, they give him some some puffy volvos, man. Well, her lips. Sheba, are you sure about this? If there is one thing we are sure of, simply wanted to jump from puzzle to puzzle. Oh yeah, the puzzles are really different in late, and I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the late in stories. I mean, a lot of times you there's mystery and there's guessing, but it's the kind of mystery that just kind of comes out of nowhere, and you're just like, okay, you know. You just kind of have to be along for the ride. It's kind of bullshit. Which is funny because Godo likes those stories, right? Even though it's just totally... I think it's because it's just so ridiculous. It's not trying to... You're not able to figure anything out anyway, so... It's funny. I don't know. The only Layton game I've heard is actually shit is Lady Layton. I'm going to play that just to see how shitty it is. Because I played the rest. Yeah, the puzzles are good. They up their budget on the puzzles a little bit in the three DS ones. But it's it's all it's all good stuff. It's this. Our dream remains, only redirected. Some of the meta puzzles, well, like the mini games I just are might decide to tag along too. Hit or miss, but would you mind if I joined you as well? Music's great in the newest Absolutely. one. Absolutely. The more the merrier. It's more or less the same shit every game, though. But in a good way. Mmm, this is super tasty. <laughs> I've never had anything like this before. Like, usually go to his opinions are very solid, but then he'll jump at you with some random shit. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like, I'm usually with him. Even if I don't agree, you know, I'm, I'm totally cool with where he's coming from, and I respect where he's coming from. A lot of people are... You know, with a refined palate like that, it can be kind of like unbearable or just kind of assholes or not really explain where they're coming from or not be very receptive to like dudes like me. Like, I like everything and go to he's not like hating on me for that, you know. So, I like that, but yeah, sometimes like with Umi, <laughs> he's just he's just dogging on shit. And like, I'm like, it's kind of that's you on that one. He tries to twist it as an objective truth. But I feel like it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of you. It's kind of you on that one, you know. But usually not that often. I'm usually I'm usually with them on everything. Obviously, I don't agree with them on everything. We're very different in what we like, but... Not in a bad way. It's weird.
but it hates too much shit. Yeah, it's one of those. I, some people just a lot of people. I feel like don't get it. It can rub people the wrong way, but I don't know. I don't. I think I don't know. Good dude. Very good lad. It gladdens us to hear that from the bottom of our heart. Do you hope yourselves to take Hey, he likes Remember Eleven a lot, it's which is cool. Your I like Remember Eleven. I think it's great. Let us have a celebration to end all others. But I can't forgive the ending. And I. So tell me. I tell him all the time, but he understands that. That's the thing. It's like, it's like sometimes, like a lot of people I can't stand are the people who have like a favorite, or they hate something and they can't give you a reason or they don't care to, and it's just like irrational. At least I, I don't mind guys like go to who, who have a problem with a lot of shit, but you know, like I said, receptive to other people's opinions and understand other people where they're coming from or like give a reason for shit. And I like that a lot. I just like a lot of things too, which is fine. I mean, if it wasn't fine, I wouldn't be talking to the guy like nonstop. Shush you. Just grin and bear it. Don't go ruining the moment for them. Yeah, remember 11. It's just too fucked, man. Like, I love it. And then I hate it right at the end, you know, and I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking. They're gonna get like mad at me for saying that, you know, so that's what that's the difference. If you play Remember Eleven and Umineko and think Remember Eleven, you're probably out of your mind. Like you think Umineko's like Remember Eleven or Remember Eleven's better? I think it's probably good, but there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean. He's got good taste. He's just got a refined palette, which is fine, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think Umi Echo is way better than Remember Eleven. I think Remember Eleven only falters at the very end. But it's such a fucking huge nosedive that, like, I can't. Like, I can't, dude. You know, I'm <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just can't, like, defend it. Like, they just straight up just, they didn't finish it, man. Like, I, I can't defend it. At least Umi Neko is a fucking complete experience, fault or not. Yeah, a lot of people don't get it, man. I mean, a lot of people don't like when somebody comes at them with a contrary opinion or you know challenges them on stuff and I like it man I have a lot of fun with Goto I'm riding his dick pretty hard right now <laughs> apologies boys I'm sitting here just talking about fucking Goto <laughs> if the stream isn't already like a co-op stream with me and Goda at all times, right? Even when he's not here, I'm just talking about him. Yeah, episode. See, that's the thing. The like, episode one, I mean, Echo. I'm, I'm like, I'm tense. I'm like, I'm sweating. I'm fucking oh shit. I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm so into it. And remember, Eleven was really good like that, and I really love the thriller aspects of the cabin and the mystery of the the facility. But I don't know. I mean, I I'm not gonna say it's on a different level from one another, but they're comparable for sure. He'll fully take over. <laughs> I'll put a ring on it. Jesus Christ, we got all this shit. <laughs> yeah. People aren't here for me anymore, man. I'll find myself typing in my own chat because I can't get a word in on my fucking stream. I don't know, I have a fun though, man. I love talking. Has Let's get a 
It's good. I like it. Alright, we could go get this quest, I guess. We should probably do a few for her. Let's go do a few rounds of that. What the fuck? Yeah, like I said, not. It's more a matter of how. It's. I don't care as much about what a person's opinion is as much as I do care about how they treat other people's opinions. And kind of where they're coming from and. How they kind of deal with others. <laughs> you think go to get many views, man? I don't know about that. I mean, I don't care if somebody. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that's like a thing I give a shit about, right? If I'm having fun and I'm having a good time, that's all I care about. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I care about what everybody has. You know, if everybody's having a good time here, I'm just saying. uh... There's more to it than just what I think is going to rake in views. God, this is a very specialized group. I feel like you can still give Umineko a chance and he might not. Yeah, I just don't know if he'll get over the mystery thing, man. It's all going to come down whether he can get over his need to like completely figure everything out and solve everything. And just kind of go along with the ride. Just kind of enjoy, like, just a, a story and not just a mystery story, you know? Like, it's not all about mystery, and that's kind of part of the point of the thing. Like, if you can't get over that, I, don't, I think he'll have issues. I could easily see him hating it. I expected him to probably not like it in general, but we'll see. And if that's what he thinks, man, I mean, I respect it. I like traveling. Send me wherever you want. It's totally fine. There's a lot of people who will fucking defend that. I mean, there's already been people who are angry. And go to <laughs> for his Mumineko opinions, but that's not really me, so... Everyone's that's totally fine. Like I but he'll have some fight, for sure, man. Supposed to lay in the diabolical box? Oh fuck, dude. God, they all run together. That's not Pandora's box. It's the diabolical box, then it's Unwound Future. Pandora sounds like a fan game or a malware link. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? Who am I sending out? Jesus fuck, dude. Who like who cares? Just put somebody out, man. Could be the Japanese name. I could see that. I've waited for this. Yeah, it's fun seeing people's opinions on Shilla Kumineka, so, especially somebody as controversial as Goto. Not that I'm saying I don't love it. 
I love it. That's cool. That's good. Oh, okay, the EU version. Yeah, I don't know any version differences, all the shit like that. Let's go to the Torgoth relay base. And then we'll do some of the video game. I should probably hit the hay soon. Bitches thing. Royal Guard Barracks. Sounds like a more ordained thing. Where the fuck are the Royal Guard Barracks? I have heard of this shit. I guess we can see what this heart to heart is. I saw a quest. Must be. See, that's the area we were in down there, man. <clears throat> where you at in the game, dude? There's some points in the game where you can't fast travel. So, how'd you like this palace, eh? Just as good as your Ardanian one? For a man who abandoned his country, you're certainly proud of it. Hey, that's a low blow. Oh, the glitchy audio? Yeah, I've made a lot of adjustments. Do you think you'll return for good someday? I don't know what my so adjustment is right now, but what seems to work with most shit. <clears throat> I also use that special 3D improvement Desmume version. Hey, Morag, is your country important to you? That was kind of out of the blue. Come on, just tell me. Would you protect your country over anything else in the world? Without a doubt. Why do you ask? Well, I mean, as a prince, of course you're going to want to protect your country and your people. But is that really enough? What do you mean? This world, it's stretched to its limit. We've both seen that on our travels. Just keep mousing over the point. Just keep going back over the point. It glitches out sometimes, man. <clears throat> now, my old man, he closed off our country from the outside world. Why? To protect his people. But that's not a real solution. That's just running away from reality. Maybe you can protect your own people like that for a while, but when the world ends, you're just as dead. I just couldn't bring myself to agree with the way he does things. And that's why you left? Yeah. If I can use my power to help save the world, even a little, I figured that's what I have to do. Help the people who need it. Of course, I was younger then with naive ambitions. In the end, I just wound up learning how powerless I really am. But you haven't given up yet, have you? You're still trying to save the world. Of course I am. If you don't have the power, you've got to try even harder. If you can't do it alone, then you've got to find some friends to back you up. Morag, you're one of those people, right? Oh, the voice acting in this one's also much worse than the first one. In some ways, it's fine. Like, these guys are fine. And just normal conversations are fine, but when they really have to get up there and start acting, most of them fall flat. Some of the best voice actors are the side characters and the random blades. The main characters, especially Pyra, are like the worst. Which is a far cry from the original, which everybody was pretty solid. Um, 
I have fun enough with the English. Sometimes to laugh at. Sometimes it's just, you know, cool. Shit in my own language. But if you're just looking for pure quality, probably you can download the Japanese pack. Someone I can count on. Yeah. When people try to do like battle yells or like have to do something intense, it's fucked. And some people do it good, and the main character is usually the one having to do it, and he doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't match the scene. It's if you're looking for just total immersion, and, you know, going with what they normally like, what they want to have conveyed. Play with the Japanese. I get the good fucking meme English dub, and it does have some good voice acting. It's not unbearable, but. <laughs> It's got some misses compared to the first. Chronicles 1, just play it dubbed, it's totally great. This shit. Like, more acts cool. Some people got some cool voices, some sexy voices. Some people... Not so much. I'll never stop growing! I can open anything! Just trust, yeah. I could get an electric mastery, but I don't care that much. Yeah, I knew this is good. I mean, her voice actor is not amazing, though. Let's be real. But her accent's nice. The Morag's accent's nice. None of the dudes have particularly, like, sexy accents. Well, here's the trap. I'm always repping this trap. I love it. I love it. I love it. I got a rare crystal. Let's drop some shit. We'll do a couple of cores here. I was gonna do the the mini game. This one has like a retro mini game you can play. That's a lot of fun. Well, it's not fun when you have to grind it for ten years, but it's pretty fun. And that's how you upgrade your robot chick a lot. Well, good work for the the old Adri, the young Adri. Cause I know how messing with the sound in Desmiume is. To this day, still on every Ace Attorney game, there's one song that always has problems, no matter what. What the hell I do? Until next time. I'm in the mood for these kinds of puzzles and I get tired of it in Toy Maybe. But it'll always be there, and that's the thing with the stories, is you could just jump right back in and it's all good, you know? I was playing that while I was playing Rude Double. Because I was uh, Steam sharing, so. Couldn't always be on. So that was fun. It was a good one just to pop in here and there with. The puzzles are so unique. I don't know. Like when I'm in the mood for it, I'm really in the mood for it. Making me want to play six. The only problem with those is they're just hard to play back to back. I can play through a one just fine. I remember how good the second one was. I could barely remember, I could barely, t I couldn't even tell you what the hell the second game's plot was, probably. They all run together for me, they're, they're so similar. I played through so much shit. Do you have Cosmos? I'm thinking I'm missing like three, two or three blades still. Outside of the Praxis one. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go get that quest probably soon, like probably right now, so I can get her sister. I'm not gonna try to get every blade. I'll get everything I can, but once I'm out of side quests and I don't have to work that hard for any more, I'm, I'm finishing the story. I've got countless games to play. 
I'd like to finish a couple more this year. And then maybe we'll have a day where we talk about shit. I was thinking of getting like a list together of everything that's come out this year that, you know, we've played that release this year and maybe, maybe talking about shit. I just, I just don't know how much interest it would be. Like, what am I just going to talk about each game? Like, oh, this game was pretty cool. <laughs> I like a year in retrospect. I mean, well, I like my own game award. Like, eh. That could be a fun idea just to kind of put in perspective what all has come out this year. Because this year's been pretty good for games. It's been pretty non stop. Definitely a busy year compared to you know, anything out of the last four or five. But Oh, they all have a different chance? Yeah, I always hear people. Having issues with uh, getting Cosmos. Okay, with your chat stream. He's so excited, like a game of the year thing. Just to kind of put it in perspective, like I don't remember everything that just came out this year. So I'm always playing something. So, like, what came out one year and what didn't? You know, I'm playing like retro games and games that are a couple years old. And it's just good to be able to compare years, you know? You know, like, there's some years in the PS2 GameCube generation that had a great game every fucking week. And, like, those are years to remember, and I'd like to be able to compare accurately. Just for fun, maybe. What? Okay, that much. I care more about just playing games. I feel like it'd be good if I had like some kind of category system set up and a list of shit, but it might be more work than it's worth. That kind of work I should spend cutting YouTube videos so I can stop talking about that on stream and catch up on some anime. I think I've got a few days of YouTube videos I've got prepared. I don't have to worry about it. But I'll be losing my VOD soon, so I gotta get cut and... Gotta finish my Spooky Week videos. Oops. Yeah, this is boring as fuck. I don't know what... You guys don't care. I don't care. I'll do more later. I'll do a little bit at a time. If we're gonna do anything right now. I want to do some cool shit. Like, let's go grab this quest. That's why we're here. We did a heck of a job. Fuck the mercs are back. Fuck the mercs are back. I need to keep sending out mercs. The only I don't want their abilities. I don't want any of that. I just want them to get enough trust to possibly unlock more quests i don't care i'm not gonna I, everybody i'm gonna use i have equipped like i probably won't do much post game i just want to unlock quests man i need to check their fucking skills dude some of these people can't get more trust and shit until i finish some shit well maybe they can but Let's check this out. Some people's like quests to continue moving up their tree or like in their, their thing here. His is a, no, he does have a thing. He has pity temple runes and Tantan complete the quest. Tender hearted beast. There you go, dude. <laughs> Another one. Hopefully, the trust I'm building with him right now keeps working. Did I play Odyssey? I did play Odyssey. Yep. I started it like a week after most people. I was gonna actually... Slap that on the YouTube here in a couple weeks. Loved it. Great game, worth playing. Couple issues here and there, but... Absolutely better than Galaxy. 
I thought. And definitely a good case, a good example of the, uh, you know, uh, 3D platformers still having a place in games. I hope it has maybe a little resurgence of them because of it. Good game. Very good, very worth playing. Fucking long as fuck. The most content. And some really unique shit too. It's not just the exact same old Mario shit. It's just kind of like how, uh, you know, Breath of the Wild tried to mix it up. But still keep the, you know, keep it feeling like Zelda. Mario mixes it up, but, you know, it, it's still Mario. And I, I think that they're both really strong games because of it. Fresh but familiar. If somebody... Yeah, exactly. I do. My biggest thing was it was too easy. The best part about the difficulty is, is that you made your own difficulty. I thought uh, 3D World was a really great game. And it has really good bonus challenge levels. Odyssey was a little too simple. And I thought that... Um, Sometimes some of the movement had one or two many button presses that just weren't necessary. Like, you got used to it. But I just don't think it really matters. Like, the dive. I still think Sunshine has the crispiest movement. Like, if the movement was, like, like the rolling up hills and shit. Like, I don't know why they actually want you to have, like, realistic rolling physics on a hill. I just want to go quick. Like, I don't care about stupid shit like that. Like, small things here and there, I think they could improve on the movement. And Sunshine kind of got that crispiness to it, but... Um, I think it did large levels well, or like, Ukulele was really bad about it. I think it had enough content where it was cool. Would I want them to do the exact same shit again? Probably not. But... They're definitely on the right path, you know. I could totally be fine with them. Doing another one though. There's some small things I like them to change, but it was great for sure. Much better in Galaxy. I think Galaxy has an issue with it's too linear and there's not enough ways to beat each thing. It feels more based around gimmicks. They're good one time games, maybe two time games, but eh. Been running 3D World for a while. Left my speedrunning days already, though. Yeah, I did not know you speedrun. But yeah, 3D World was a lot of fun. People talk down on 3D World. Maybe it's the name. I don't know. I played it way after it came out. And I was like, ah, this will be all right. And then, man, it was just a tight platformer, man. Like, good challenge. Like, it was cool. I mean, it wasn't like you're running around an open world and shit. What the hell is this? Salvage can. I'm in a room. <laughs> I can't move out. I am. Yeah, see, I'm still gonna play 3D Land. I don't know how good it is, but I'm definitely gonna give it a try. I only found this. Definitely was no easy peasy. I'm gonna try 3D Land still. I have a huge list of 3DS games I still need to play, but I'll give it a go. If it's even half of the game the 3D World was, I'd love to do it. I mean, I think a combination of being named 3D World after this huge chain of like new Super Mario Bros, like fucking copy paste games, 
I feel like it made it seem like another copy paste. I mean, yeah, the 3D land issue, the Wii U. Most things are, don't have a good rep on the Wii U. So, I mean, I, I just feel like a, oh, it's a great game. It's a bunch of stimulus surrounding it that make it seem bad. Hmm. <laughs> I can't move help. I don't remember exactly where you are. There is no arrow. Are you in the investigation screen? Or is there one of those? Wait a second. <laughs> Let's try clicking things and investigating around, man. The arrow should be... Maybe you have to hit the boot or something? God, I don't remember how the second one is. <laughs> the first puzzle, dude. Learn how to control the game. Finally, calm. That's not what I'd call it. Is he okay? I'd say he looks scared speechless. Ah, uh, no. I... I didn't... Excuse me, what happened? Then click on where the arrow appears has been shown to be, then the arrow appeared. Oh, really? What the fuck? So the arrow, so you hit the boot and then clicked and then the arrow appeared after you clicked? That sounds like a graphical glitch. Or was it the boot and then the arrow was there? That sounds fucking weird, dude. Hopefully it's not like a weird glitch. Are you alright? Yes. Good luck, I'm man. <laughs> I'm fine. You looked like you were in a hurry. What's the rush? Huh? Oh crap, I forgot. There was an accident. I, I have to go get help. An accident? Near the Genbu Drifts. We do some mining there. There was a rock fall. People are trapped down in the tunnels. The rest of us tried to shift the rocks, but it was no use. So I ran to get help, but... You need rocks moved? <laughs> <laughs> the I like his gimmick. He's like a really, really nice dude, but he's like fucking Tall. spooky as shit. Hey, relax. Wolfric isn't a monster. He's a blade. There is no cause for alarm. He probably won't eat you. So settle down. Does that mean you're drivers? I mean, Jesus, look yeah. at him. So what? This is great. You've got to help me. I'll do it. <laughs> what? Why did he run off like that? Wolfric, wait for us! Is he heading for the mines? It's not like we were going to refuse anyway. Come on, everyone, let's go! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, fucking Rex looks like he was fucking, just came straight out of like a sci-fi fucking thing. Like, yeah, I think he's, I think he's a driver. Something special, man. Alright, cool. We picked up another one. Um, I don't know where the, uh, the Royal Barracks are. I mean, I assumed it was... Something here. We're here. Well, where to now? Coochie, coochie, coo. Treasure acquired. Legendary core crystal, that's a big ass chest. No pond to blue, and I have a lot of these now. Let's 
Let's see if we get somebody, man. The old loot box. Ah, shit. My fate go, man. Ugh. I can't be bothered. But then I have to do it. Tomorrow, before I start the stream, I need to send some people and do all this and that. Oh boy, dude. Fucking legendary, my fucking ass, man. Legendary piece of fucking shite. Oh, can't resonate with anymore. Fuck it. Hall of Honor, Hall of Mystery. Looks like there's something here we can pick up. Picking up a bunch of quests, man. We're here. Well, where to now? 